use a different kind of needle. Uh, these uh, lacing needles, they're a flat needle uh, with a space and two fine pins that hold the uh, lace in place. Use them, you start by uh, skiving your uh, piece of lace down to the tip. Put the tip in between the uh, two flats with the pins into the grain side of the leather. Tap them down so that it bites on the end of the lace and then trim back on the sides of the needle to make as little drag as possible when you're going through the holes in the leather. We're going to make some holes in this uh, leather this time with a uh, rotating punch. That, um, but once again I'm just using the stitching wheel to give me spacing. And there's a sequence of them. The um, simplest uh, stitch is just called a whip stitch. It's just a binding stitch wrapping around the edge. So we're going through the uh, leather from the top side. On the first stitch we're going to tuck the end so it's uh, trapped. And we're just going to go around and around so the edge is um, covered and if you had two pieces of leather it would be um, holding them together. You just have to keep the lace from twisting and pull it in the same direction all the time so that you get it to lay flat even. So that's the simplest stitch, it's called a whip stitch, which is step is a, um, a cross stitch, and this one we're going to go up to the second hole, back to the first, so we're going up to back one, it makes a cross that wraps around the edges. It's a bit decorative, but still fairly simple. It binds the edge more completely. So it gives you a, a wrapped um, crossover. There's also a series of decorative stitches um, called buttonhole stitches or cordovans. Uh, the simplest one is a single uh, and it's, it's very like this cross stitch but instead of going back through the hole we're going to pick up the lace on the edge. It's a bit like a blanket stitch in um, in sewing. So we're going forward through the hole. Instead of going back to the hole we're just picking up the last stitch on the edge and it gives you a uh, sort of beading on the edge. So it's a sort of roped edge effect. Um, that stitch has a slightly more sophisticated brother called a double cut open or double buttonhole stitch in which we go forward through the hole and instead of picking up the single stitch on the edge as you were last time we're going to pick up this cross of this and this. lays down around the edge more. So we're going through the cross on the edge.
just sits, so it lays around and gives you a uh, a plaited edge and uh, covers the edge fairly effectively. thread we're using uh, leather lace. This is in Australia we use kangaroo lace quite a lot because it's um, very strong and we use a different kind of needle. These needles are um, have uh, two flat surfaces and a couple of small pins inside which hold the lace in. Let me just zoom in and get a detail on that. So where that cross is on the table, we we'll get back to that. Okay, could you explain that little bit again about the uh -huh. needle? Uh, these uh, lacing needles, they're a flat needle uh, with a space and two fine pins that hold the uh, lace in place. Use them, you start by uh, skiving your uh, piece of lace down to the tip. Put the tip in between the um, two flats with the pins into the grain side of the leather, tap them down so that it bites on the end of the lace and then trim back on the sides of the needle to make as little drag as possible when you're going through the holes in the leather. So it's connected on. You can also, other ways of doing this are 
by uh, cutting a point on on the lace and stiffening it by sticking it in um, some um, aquity, some um, some sort of glue that'll stiffen it up a bit. Uh, but lacing needles are good if you can have access to them. We're going to make some holes in this uh, leather this time with a uh, rotating punch. That, um, but once again, I'm just using the stitching wheel to give me spacing. So these sort of stitches can be used decoratively or to uh, hold things together. And there's a sequence of them. The um, simplest uh, stitch is just called a whip stitch. It's just a binding stitch wrapping around the edge. So we're going through the uh, leather from the top side. On the first stitch we're going to tuck the end so it's uh, trapped and we're just going to go around and around so the edge is um, covered and if you had two pieces of leather it would be um, holding them together. Keep the lace from twisting and pull it in the same direction all the time so that you get it to lay flat and even. So that's the simplest stitch, it's called a whip stitch. Um, the next stitch is step is a, uh, a cross stitch, and this one we're going to go up to the second hole back. First, so going up to back one, it makes a cross that wraps around the edges. It's a bit decorative, but still fairly simple. It binds the edge more completely. So it gives you a, a wrapped um, crossover 